guys welcome back to our five weekly favorites happy friday um first up is a product from kosas the brand kindly sent us over some things in pr we actually just filmed like a full face of the brand yeah. so if you're interested that'll be coming soon but we fell in love with their wet lip oil i have the shade jellyfish and i have the shade unbuttoned which is more like opaque than Britta's is more of like a clear mine's like a clear so i didn't own a clear lip oil in general and i just like having this to put over top lip liners lipsticks as you can see it's just super glossy. It like not really sticky. hides your lip lines. It really hides your lip lines. It's thicker than I was expecting. Like it stays in place for sure. Mm -hmm. But it's not. It's too not thick, thick. Where it won't like. It's still emollient. Like you can still rub your lips around. Mm -hmm. But it feels cushiony and it feels hydrating. I don't know if it actually is, but it feels like it would be. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. It's really good. Another Kosas product. Um, the brow gel, we're obsessed. Obsessed. Yes. I knew I would love this product, but speaking from people that worked in product development for years, the hardest part about brow products and mascaras is pairing the formula with a brush. Like, you just, it's real hard. Real hard. <laughs> That's why a lot of people purchase them turnkey, but the work is already done for them. Like, a supplier will have done all the testing and research to figure out which brushes work with which formulas and just sell the product that way. Um, but whoever did this did such a good job because the formula really is like decently pigmented. Mm -hmm. It has extreme hold in my opinion. Like it's not extreme. Well, like extreme for a tinted. Well, just really good it's hold. It's good hold. Solid. Solid, Solid hold. hold. And so those two things paired with like a big brush could be disastrous. Like someone could go in and it could just look like way too much, way too unnatural, um, get color everywhere. And so pairing it with this like really small tapered brush was just such a good idea. Like I've, and something about this brush, um, it's a nylon bristle. So it's, there's a lot of little fibers and you can like really get into every single hair and it just coats it with the perfect amount of pigment. I'm so impressed. I love it. I know. It's so good. I like it. Yeah. Like it deposits just the right amount of pigment, especially yeah. on, so we have these mirrors here because we were filming tonight. Yeah. I was like getting distracted, yeah. but it, I have like really sparse hairs over here and it deposits just the right amount without yeah. looking like too overdone. And extreme hold was the wrong word. It doesn't hold like a, like it's an not like Anastasia, Anastasia yeah, yeah. Or, but it definitely like holds better than most tinted brow gels. Mm -hmm. Another thing I fell in love with last week is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wand. We have the contour in the shade Light Medium. This one specifically, because I think the one below it was too light, even though that was more cool toned. This is more of like a contour bronzer shade. But I love this formula. First of all, it's in like a pretty slim component. So the sponge tip applicator is pretty precise. Like you can be really precise. I can use this on my nose. So I like that it's small and dainty and you can, like I said, be precise in your application and it's pigmented but I would say it's more of like a light opacity mm -hmm. like it's not super pigmented but it does show up on the skin and it's so effortless to blend it's like a true gel formula that you just dot it on and like you can blend it out with a brush effortlessly in two seconds and then it dries down it doesn't like remain sticky it doesn't like dry matte or anything but it dries down it doesn't remain tacky on the skin i just love this it's so good it's better than the charlotte tilbury it's better than any of the other ones i've tried i feel like mm -hmm. the most comparable it, the from milani. what i remember well the, the milani, milani is really similar i just like really this similar. color more than the milani one. yeah this color is better and it, i do remember loving the beauty pie one and this one reminds me of that too but this color was better than that too this mm -hmm. is a really good color if you have similar skin tone to us. Okay, I've been breaking out like literally everywhere. I'm trying this new diet for my health. Wish me luck. And I think I might just be like detoxing things. I don't know, but there's zits all over my face. It's literally the least of my worries, but I still wanted to like tackle them. Um, so Britta had this mask, which I had owned like years ago as well, but then hadn't repurchased in a long time. And it's the Ordinary Salicylic Acid 2% Mask. So it's salicylic acid in a clay mask. And you just leave it on. I left it on for like 20 minutes. I don't know. It says 10 minutes. But yeah, I think I usually do 10. Yeah. And then rinse it off. And both times I used it this week, I noticed like a significant decrease in the zits. Like they um, got a little bit smaller and like shrunk down more. And I've been trying like everything for my skin and nothing was really working. And that definitely works. So salicylic acid definitely works. Um, for me, it works the best. That's yeah, breakout. And it's nice to have it like in this mask format, so you don't have to leave like a salicylic acid product on overnight if you have sensitive skin. It's like nice; you can wash it off. 
And then last up is our show favorite. We've talked about this at length on Instagram. And TikTok. And TikTok. But we are obsessed with Jury Duty. If you guys aren't watching it, please watch it immediately. It's free. It's on Freebie, which is Amazon's free platform. They have, like, some original content. Well, I guess Jury Duty is original yeah. to them, too. But they have, like, original movies on there and stuff. I found it when I was looking for a pretty obscure show that I used to watch, and I was like, oh, I've never heard of this app. I didn't even know it was owned by Amazon, but it's free to download, free to watch. So I feel like now it's blowing up because of Jury Duty. Totally, which is probably their intention. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but Jury Duty, if you're unfamiliar with the premise, it is about a jury panel, and they are being filmed for a documentary, but they're all actors except for one guy named Ronald. He thinks that it's an actual documentary, and people are like, how did you even be approached for this thing? and he said that he saw it in Craigslist and like the whole shtick or like how they sold him was that I think he would get paid like a stipend. He would get paid. He would get paid and they were like, oh, you got to get jury duty over with and it's basically like so people can like understand what others go through when they do jury duty. Like it's a documentary to show the public what it's like. So he was like kind of like, oh, I'm doing a service and mm -hmm. I'm getting paid. Like that was his mindset. Because from what I understand, he was in between work at the time. Yeah. So it was like good timing for him. And yeah, he was like excited to serve on a jury. He was so excited. He's just <laughs> such a good person. And so he shows up and James Marsden is on the jury panel. Because it takes place in LA. So I well, actually it takes place in like a weird part of LA. Not weird part, but. Huntington Park? Yeah, like not LA proper. Yeah. So I thought that was funny too. Because like if mm -hmm. you lived in LA and like James Marsden, like mm -hmm. you would think you would be at the courthouse downtown. Yeah. But anyway, so they, James Marsden is on the panel. Playing himself. Playing like himself. Like an advanced version. Like He's the best character. Yeah. He's so funny. Like, during the course of the show, he's auditioning for a part in this, like, weird Western <laughs> movie. So he'll, like, ask Ronald to run lines with him. He'll, like, do this weird accent. And he is so over the top. But that's not how he's in real yeah, life. Yeah, in interviews, he said, like, he made... It's basically like making fun of Hollywood. Like he took the opportunity to be like, I'm gonna be this like actor guy that yeah. like is so full of himself and like always needs to be telling people like that he works in the business yeah. and like has money. And like he's like, that is not me in real life. But like that's the character I was playing. But he does an incredible job. Well, they all they do. all do. Like they're all improv actors and none of the, a couple of them like we recognized one of the guys, oh, what's his name? With the long hair. Yeah, I don't know his name. And then the judge. We're like, both of those guys look familiar, and we, like, Tommy looked them up, and they were in other things that you would recognize. Um, but the rest of them I've never seen before. Yeah. And they can just think on their feet, and none of them ever break. And the funniest things happen, and nobody laughs. And they said that, like, James and interview said that they would meet, I don't know if this is true every day, but, like, at 6 a.m. with the director and, like, the show's creators, who was created by the people that created The Office. Yeah. And they would go over, like, what had to be done that day. Like, oh, you have to talk to Ronald about this. Or, like, you get up and leave this seat open so this person can come down. Like, the plot lines that had to happen. But then there was no, like, script. Like, he said that they would get the plot lines, kind of, like, run through I, what was going to happen without Ronald there, go back to the hotel and, like, quit write lines because mm -hmm. they were sequestered they're sequ I don't want to give too much away but they're sequestered yeah. in a hotel as yeah. well yeah so they would go back and rewrite lines and then like have ideas throughout the day but they were all just thinking on their feet like complete improv yeah it's Insane. so funny you guys it's, like I think it's just as funny as the office yeah just we say it so much but laugh out loud the whole time because like, you don't know what's gonna happen it's so funny it's if you so need funny. a show to make you laugh like this, I, I'm sad that we can only experience it for the first time. Yeah, there's only eight once. episodes, too. Yeah, like, I wish it was one of those, like, Shit's Creek where you can watch over and over that, yeah. like, makes you laugh. But, like, I feel like once you have, like, heard the jokes, it yeah. won't be, like, as funny. But, oh my god, it's it was so, so good. Funny. Also, we're like, how did he not catch on? Because we noticed that they put them up at the Sportsman Lodge, which yeah. is like a nice hotel here. And it's so far from where the courthouse is. Yeah, we looked it up. It was like an hour drive. Yeah. And so it's just weird that they would shuffle them, shuttle them in the bus like every day back and forth. Why wouldn't yeah. they stay close to the courthouse? Maybe they let them film there. That maybe. Was, that maybe why. Yeah, we it, thought it was funny. It was so funny. Such a good show. Well, thank you guys so much for watching our weekly favorites, and we hope you have a great weekend.